How's it going guys? I have this Jaguar XK here, which is super swirly, and we are about to do a full correction to this car. Uh, it's a very hot and humid day here in Southern California. It is in the 90s. There is no AC at my friend uh, Aren's shop here, Templar Wraps in Santa Ana, and we're about to start correcting this bad boy, and we're going to run into that problem of sticky paint. Uh, where your compound will stick to the paint and not wipe off or break down properly. So we're going to work on this door here. So you can see super swirly. I've got my work light on today uh, trying to make things a little bit easier to see because I know some of my other videos I'm just using the scan grip and uh, my headlamp and it can be kind of difficult. Uh, so I forgot I had this work lamp sitting in my truck. So the main purpose of this video is to go over uh, how to remove sticky compound from paint. So if you've ever been polishing a car, you might have noticed sometimes on certain paint finishes that after you're done with your compound stage or while you're working that it looks like the compound just isn't quite breaking down the right way. And then when you go to wipe it off, uh, you can't and it just leaves a big haze. Uh, we had this, if you watch my uh, Meguiar's M110 video, uh, you can see we had that issue with the Kia. And then if you watched our detailing tips video of 2020 that we just released recently, you can also see in there I have an uh, area with a red Corvette uh, that had that same issue. So there are a number of reasons why this could happen. Uh, and today I am guessing that it is due to how hot and humid it is outside because heat and humidity have a major effect on how some of our products work. This is also true of ceramic coatings, as I'm sure uh, most of you know, that we have like a proper level of humidity that we're supposed to work in uh, and keep our shops in when applying coatings. So if you're working on a hot, humid day and you don't have AC, you're probably in for a very bad time the entire time you're working on the car, which was what happened uh, on this day. So see here, I'm wiping the car and I'm not using a lot of pressure. So I'm wiping kind of fast and you can see all this haze along the edge like I can't wipe it off and this is not it's not because I've you know corrected part of the door you can see there's like polish still stuck to that square so I'm sure you've encountered this before so there's a few things you can do not always guaranteed to work but it works sometimes uh, you can sometimes spritz the panel with some water and then try to wipe it with your towel then uh, in this case that did not help at all and so when your paint looks like this, sometimes it can be difficult to check your work fully, uh, which was what happened to me on this car. When I was panel prepping the car at the end, uh, I noticed that there was a lot of scratches I missed after looking uh, at different angles on a few panels, so I had to go back over stuff. Um, so if you have to constantly interrupt your process to deal with this, uh, it can get kind of annoying. And you can't always see that you've gotten everything out on certain finishes through the haze. So I'm going to do the same thing over in this section. I'm going to compound right here. And this time I'm going to go on a slower speed on the polisher. Sometimes uh, how fast your polishing has an effect, how much pressure you're putting down on some sticky paint systems like the Acura NSX. Uh, if you turn your polisher onto speed four or five, it's going to haze it up. Uh, some soft paints like that or certain other jet black finishes or uh, Subarus I noticed do this a lot are just really soft and so it seems like they kind of absorb the compound and then you just can't wipe it off or break it down because it's just like in the pores of the clear coat. Uh, I have no idea if that is actually what it is. Uh, no one's ever really explained to me why it does this. Every time I talk to other detailers, they're like, oh yeah, the paint's just soft. So I don't know the actual like scientific reason as to why this happens, but I have noticed that sometimes you just need to slow it down uh, sometimes you just can't use a microfiber on certain cars and you may need to tell your customer that you can only get achieve a certain finish um, without going without having a crappy look to it and I think we all just stress out when we get cars like this because it makes the day longer so here we go can't wipe it off at all which uh, one thing I struggled was right around the edges of the door handle and stuff uh, I was unable to get all of the residue off because I couldn't get my foam pad to fit there and I had to really carefully polish by hand uh, using just the edge of a towel. So again, spritzing with water did absolutely nothing here. 
Uh, you can also try a damp towel. You can try like quick detail sprays like Shine Supply Shine Mist. I use that a lot. Um, but the best way, if nothing is working, is to grab a foam pad and a fine polish and polish it out just at low speed um, on the machine. And it doesn't matter fast or if you're just checking your work, it doesn't matter how fast your arm movement is. Uh, but this is what's going to help to remove that extra compound so that we can look and check our work. But this is a big pain in the butt to have to do all the time while you're polishing a car. Uh, if you have to constantly switch pads or pick up another machine, if you have a backup machine with you and continuously compound and polish just to be able to see whether you've gotten everything off. But as you can see, now it is wiping clean, uh, at least in the areas that we had compounded. And we have like a really nice, pretty clear finish here. So here we'll go up close with the light. You can see nice and clear and swirl free. For the most part, there are some uh, defects you can kind of see. And then here it's just like the before on the quarter panel, the paint's super hazy. Uh, and then you kind of see like around the door handle and stuff, it's still really, really hazy. And then I don't know if you caught in the corner of the door handle, if you rewind, uh, you can see that there is some compound residue still around the edge of the door handle. All right, so I'm going to haze up the top of this door a little bit and then uh, show you another way that sometimes works on certain finishes uh, to maybe avoid this on, on softer paints. You can see, like, it looks kind of swirl-free, but there's just all that nasty haze. So this is like an old trick uh, used by some older detailers, but also is used with a lot of these diminishing returns polishes and compounds like Shine Supply. Uh, see, my pad had no compound on it, but there was still compound on the door. I just spritzed my pad with water, and this can help to finish down uh, Shine Supply Classic Cut a little bit. Uh, back in the day, the thing to do was to uh, you do that same method with Meguiar's 205, or to actually have like a watered down Meguiar's 205, where you put like two or three ounces of 205 in a spray bottle with water, and you would use that to final polish the door. Like that's a trick to use on like a jet black nsx if you watch our jet black nsx correction video uh, i do like i don't have uh, m205 but i try a similar uh, technique uh, using classic polish so that's one thing you can try too in this case it just did not work um, you can also sometimes try polishing uh, at a with compound at a lower speed uh, like on the machine like speed two or three Sometimes being less aggressive can help uh, with that as well. But as you can see, this is, that really didn't help at all. This car is just a terrible car to work with uh, in this temperature we've got going on. We had done another uh, metallic black Jaguar F-Type recently as well. Uh, and that one had cleaned up pretty easily. So I was expecting metallic black Jaguar XK. Uh, it looks pretty swirly, but the last one was super easy to clean up, so maybe this will be easy. Uh, but nope, all the humidity in the air here this week in California is just killing us. Uh, everybody says that we're a dry heat state, but that's only true sometimes. Unfortunately for me, the only thing that is helping here is to just polish afterwards. Um, and this is probably the safest thing you can do on the paint too. You don't want to bring out like stronger solvents or anything like that just to have get that easy spray on wipe off effect. Uh, it would, the safest thing to do in this situation is to just go with the polisher and see everything just wiped up uh, nice and easy. So now that everything's off, I can finally check my work, look real close, make sure there's no haze left and that it looks half decent. So, so far, so good. Uh, I'm gonna go over this door again later and final polish it again uh, and spend a little more time on it. But oh, there you go, see that door handle? I've gotta get in and get that as well and also hand polish underneath the door cup. Here is the final result. Uh, this was topped off with two layers of SPS graphene uh, and then the wheels were sprayed down with Fine Lab Detailer. So we have a really gorgeous beautiful black finish now if you remember what it looked like in the beginning uh, this was like a hundred and fifty percent transformation here and looking phenomenal 
Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Stay tuned Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific for more uh, detailing videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. See you later.